What's up, y'all? My name is Bobby Tanak, and I'm here from Aesthetic Imprints. I hope you guys liked my last video. I mean, I edited it. But I haven't even posted it yet, but I'm looking myself into the future, and I hope you guys liked it. And I'm just here today. It's about 9 a.m. Starting my day off with class. And, yeah. Um, today, we're printing 50 long sleeve t-shirts. 20... Uh, red, tw 20 short sleeve t-shirts. So I went, I went blank. And then we got some bachelor shirts we need to do. So it's going to be a busy day. And on top of that, I got to deal with school. I hate school. Anyways, I'm going to take you along with me. Let's go for this ride. What's up, y'all? So I was going to focus on school, but I got a lot of work to do. So I got to make these screens right now. Got a couple orders to do, and there's clients that have to come stop by for information or samples and all that. So I got to get the ball rolling on these things. While I'm in class, I'm burning some screens. And let me tell you something. This professor sounds like Barack Obama. Just listen, right? The worst, the most undesirable part, that which settles to the bottom, the last remaining part. Tell me he doesn't sound like Obama. Tell me I'm wrong. All right, you guys. So I just got all the shirts ready. This is here's the design I printed yesterday, but I didn't really record it because it was really I had to do it really quick. But it came out nice, a little burgundy with the white. It's a lot of different color shirts. It's about fifty of them. So I gotta do that. I gotta print the front print on there. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take you guys along with me. And I got my. Little class running right there. And yeah. Alright guys, unfortunately I thought I had time to get these shirts done. And the machines, I mean the conveyor dryer and everything was all heated up. I did do the test print. So that did come out good. Here's what the it's gonna be like a checkmate thing because of the checkerboard look right here. But I can't get these done, and these are due. I gotta get these done by within the hour, cause I gotta ship them, and I still have to fold them and individually bag them, and custom neck tags all by 4 p.m. Cause I gotta ship them out today, cause I like to get my stuff out early to the client. But I have a client coming right now to do samples or a meeting, so I'm gonna go do that. See you guys. All right, what's up, everybody? So one of my clients did just cut, stop by, and he has a unique brand that you guys should definitely check out. For all you sports people out there, check this out. Yeah, so what's up, guys? My name is Brandon. Uh, I'm the founder of Level Sports Apparel. You can check us out on Instagram at Level Sports Apparel. What I'm doing is uh, asymmetrical compression pants. So athletes um, kind of want more of a fashionable look when they play basketball and um, some some lacrosse and some some other sports like football, but um, essentially, this is the, the core product. Obviously, you got to work on some manufacturing to get my, uh, my own compression pants together. But just using a Nike uh, version that I hemmed myself. And then we're doing customizations on the bottom. So athletes, let's say from Haiti, can rep their own, rep their own country and rep where they're from. This could be an area code uh, or name of a country, name of a city, whatever. But uh, yeah, shout out to Aesthetic Imprints for doing the, uh, the customizations and we're gonna be here for a long time. So um, stay tuned and, and hit us up, hit me up on Instagram if you guys uh, are looking forward to some, some custom imprints or some, some custom designs. Yeah, man, so you guys should definitely check him out. So what he does is, you know how LeBron and basketball, they always have these one-legged compression pants and this is actually hidden from the sports, I mean the shorts, so that nobody can get mad and you put your own customization there. Let's say you're from Maryland, you put 301, wherever you're from, you put your country, code, anything. He's on to something, man. <laughs> it definitely it. came out nice, too. It did, yeah, it's, it's stretchy, too. It's a stretchy vinyl, and the material is, I'd say, 90% polyester, 10% uh, spandex, so it's, it's, gonna be, it's gonna be exciting to watch. Yeah, man, check it out. All right, you guys, the client did just leave. It was a quick little stop. Um, Printed out some vinyl and got them custom heat transfer on that compression pants. I did do that for free for him just because it's not much that I did really do. And 
I like to give samples for free sometimes. If it doesn't cost me much, and if it, if you look like a nice guy, a nice client, I'm gonna hook you up. But the bulk orders will obviously cost more. It just gives them like a little thing that I care for them. You know what I mean? Because I care for all my clients. But yeah, I'm gonna start all these. Shows. All right, what's up, you guys? I finished the shirts. Here's the front print. Whole bunch of shirts. So right now I'm doing one last final touch that the client paid for, which is the neck tags. And here's how they're coming out. Pretty cool. Got the everything first edition. First edition. Sorry, can't speak. But I'm gonna finish these. I'm on a time crunch because. It's 2 o'clock, and I got to get these out by 4. I still have to fold and pack them. But I'll see you. So I just finished all the shirts. I ended up doing extra shirts as well. These I didn't really talk about. Because it got super busy and I was in a rush. But my parents... I mean, my mom and my brother actually came down to help, and that really helped a lot. They folded and packed these up for me. Yeah, it's about 50 shirts, and yeah, we do have our own boxes here. It's a little marketing technique. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ship these out real fast. Then i got to come back and finish these shirts and maybe have a client come. And yeah. All right, y'all, I'm about to go ship out this shirt order. Got it all packed up with the custom box, static imprints, and yet yeah, can't look at that. But yeah, I'm gonna go to the pay post office and ship this out. All right, you guys, I just got home. Just started up the heat press and the vinyl cutter. So let me start. Uh... So yeah, man, I gotta do just one shirt, vinyl cut. Because these were supposed to be heat pressed, but I figured there's like 10, 12 of them. Why not just screen print it? It'll be easier than me going out to buy white, white vinyl right now. To me, I think screen printing is cheaper than doing that. And it's better quality. Lasts longer. And yeah, I got like this stain of white. I don't know from where. It's why you can't wear nice shirts when you're working. But... Yeah, I'm going to heat press this. I'm going to try to take you guys along with me. All right, you guys, I just got the vinyl weeded out. It's a little gold print, a little bachelorette. I think this one's for the bride. It says Nacho Average Bride. What's up, you guys? I'm in class right now, but I forgot to edit this video. Um, not edit, but end it. Um, thank you guys for tuning into this video. Ooh, I hope you guys like this video. And please subscribe, share, like, comment. Let me know what you guys think of this video. If you guys want to see more, let me know in the comment section below. And I'll catch you on the next one.